Hello, my review will be about the SJ5000 series made by SJ Cam, which should not be confused with the fake SJ5000, which doesn't have the SJ name on the case as you can see in this picture. It have the HD1000P name. This camera from uh, picture is not really a fake because as you can see is looking different than SJ Cam but it was trying to steal the glory of anticipated SJ5000 series made by SJ Cam by just using the SJ5000 name just because uh, of some sellers. It's the same thing like for example the SJ Cam will launch a new camera with the name Go SJ Pro Hero 5 just because they expect the new version of GoPro to be named Hero 5. Talking about GoPro, they now have a real competition from SJ Cam because of high quality chipset, the Novatec and Umbrella latest versions, quality uh, glasses lens and the sensor which is made by Panasonic. But the buyers will consider the actual prices of $120 and $170 uh, price of AJ5000 in China uh, will be good piece for this quality camera but without the GoPro name on the case. I suggest to you to watch this review on a device which uh, support the classed caption subtitles of YouTube because they will co contain more information. SJ Cam is offering a lot of accessories for SJ5000 series in the standard box as you can see some base supports, the waterproof case, the bicycle stand, the clip, some helmet base band and bandage and uh, also we can uh, optionally buy the AV out cable which is this and also the HDMI cable which can be in white color and of course you can buy the car power charger or uh, maybe the suction cup if you want to use the camera into the car Starting with this landscape, I will show you the first differences between SJ Cam 5000, which can be SJ 5000 simple without Wi Fi and with Wi Fi, which is on the left, and SJ 5000 Plus, which is on the right. The SJ 5000 Wi Fi is with Novatec 96655 chipset. And the SJ5000 Plus is with Umbrella A7LS75 chipset. Now I will go back and tell you about the lens differences. I hope you can see uh, the camera from the right have a little longer lens. And this means the SJ5000 Plus which is on the right have different lens, lens compared to SJ5000. And this cap is good to protect your lens if you will put the camera in this way and it's good to not scratch the lens. I will go to another difference. I hope you can see here the LCD. The LCD sizes are different. The SJ5000 Wi-Fi have a 2 inches LCD screen which is this. And the SJ5000 Plus have 1.5 LCD, LCD screen size. And now I will go with another differences and I will explain the, the camera buttons. This is the power and camera uh, mod button for entering in settings for example. And for SJ5000 Plus is also locking and unlocking the actual recording. On the side, on the top, we can see the wireless button which is enabled, enabling the wireless module of the camera. On the other side, we have the connectors, the HDMI connector, the micro USB connector and the micro SD card slot. Regarding uh, micro USB connector for SJ5000 Wi-Fi, 
uh, it also enables the webcam mode. You can see also the camera buttons which are used to navigate, for example, into the camera menu. These two buttons for button and also for the zoom. But for the SJ5000 Plus, the top button will uh, mute the audio recording. And of course to the shutter button, on the top we have the shutter button. Uh, this is uh, used for start and stop recording, but only for SJ5000 Plus, the shutter button we will take uh, pictures during uh, during uh, recording and the pictures are uh, 2 megapixel 1080p and 16 by 9 uh, resolution now about the wireless differences for the SJ5000 plus the Wi-Fi settings are stored on card so the Wi-Fi is working only when the card is inside the camera you can edit this file and you can see there are three uh, settings for wireless, name it as access point, which is default, Wi-Fi direct and station mode. This is an advanced, advanced stuff and this editing the file uh, is uh, used only for people which really want another wireless connection. The SJ5000 Wi-Fi have Android and iOS application name it SJ Cam HD and the SJ5000 Plus have the application name it Linking Eyes. The wireless range is like any wireless and is depending also to the smartphone quality and I can say in uh, open area is uh, over 50 meters and uh, in a house can be just uh, in the other room. The wireless image on the LCD screen uh, is uh, with a little delay. You can see this on another video of my, uh, uh, from my channel. And uh, I suggest using uh, wireless um, only if, if you want to uh, make remote sit settings from distance from the camera or for example if you put the camera into a different place from you are for example under the water and you want to take a picture and start a recording uh, only at a desired time you uh, will use the wireless application uh, for this camera uh, the battery uh, will be about 47 meters and uh, it's good to know that also when the camera is in standby it will uh, uh, consume power. Here are the LCDs and you can see the information like um, uh, recording time, how many time you have uh, to record this is uh, the 1080p 30 frames per second. Here are the 5 minute loops. Here is the microphone enabled, the battery, the date and the um, time. On the SJ5000 Plus we have here an icon which is telling us we are in uh, movie mode. Here is 1080p 30 frames per second, the actual recording settings. How many space I have on the SD card? Now I have only one four point gigabytes, but because I have enabled the loop recording, I can record always the latest videos. Here is the battery icon, uh, the date and time. This is uh, when recording, you can see this small icon, which is about locking and unlocking files. Pressing the mod button will lock the file. Now the file is locked and cannot be erased by the loop mode and now I will unlock the file. Pressing the tap button we will mute the audio. Here I hope you can see the audio is muted and now I will unmute it. Pressing on these buttons will go into the digital zoom if I enable this. It is not a great quality for digital uh, zoom and uh, is recommended to use the camera as it is. 
and I told you also about the shutter button pressing on it it will take also a picture I hope to to hear a small uh, click now the camera was taking pictures other differences I will show you when comparing the camera settings and you can read the closet caption subtitles here on YouTube video. This is about the differences between the menu settings of SJ5000 Wi-Fi and SJ5000 Plus. Now I am in the first option menu. Here we have the video and photo, the TV out, the video labs which is creating a video based on time labs here is the photo labs which is taking only the pictures and you will create the video time labs on your computer this is the playback option and this is the setup option going into that setup the first resolution the first option is the resolution which can be up to 1080p 30 frames per second the SJ5000 Plus have up to 60 frames per second. Here the SJ5000 Plus, SJ Plus have up to 120 frames per second. And uh, here uh, the SJ5000 SG, Plus have up to 240 frames per second. This is the OSD mode which will enable or not the information over the LCD screen and over the AV out for example the icons or the red dot which is blinking when camera is recording both camera have cyclic records HDR have only the SJ5000 Wi-Fi which can be enabled or not the plus version doesn't have have the WDR because the umbrella is uh, usually using the WDR not the HDR but it's almost the same thing for these cameras so only the Wi-Fi the Wi have this HDR option motion detect have both cameras audio on or off have both cameras but the SJ plus uh, have audio off also from camera pattern pressing the top button of uh, SJ5000 Plus will mute the audio when recording. For SJ5000 Wi-Fi this uh, audio is muted only by entering in the setup menu. Tape, stamp, tape stamping is the same. Image size for uh, Plus version is up to 16 megapixels and both camera have the only 16 by 9 aspect ratio only for this 1920 by 1080p expression some same settings the white balance quality another names but um, almost the same function for fine setting for SJ5000 Wi-Fi the bit rate is up to 15 megabytes per second and for SJ5000 plus can be up to 20 megabytes per second in 1080p 60 frames per second this sharpness is available only for the Wi-Fi version the color is available only for the Wi-Fi version the ISO is the same language can differ a little but I will show you also the other available languages date and time the same auto power off the same beep sound the same TV mode PAL or NTSC the same light set is available for this moment uh, on both cameras but the SJ 5000 plus can also turn off the Wi-Fi LED LED for the moment the SJ5000 Wi-Fi doesn't have this option but I suppose in the future it will have this is about the LCD turning off 
the frequency is the same the car mode is uh, starting also the camera and also the recording when a micro USB connector is inserted into the camera and um, it is powered the SJ5000 Wi-Fi have this Wi-Fi SSID and password settings the plus cannot be set from the camera it cannot be set by editing a file onto the micro SD card uh, the Wi-Fi version have this possibility to put your name over the video uh, also it, you can delete the files format is uh, available in for both cameras the default settings and now the version this was about the SJ5000 Wi-Fi and I will come back with uh, SJ5000 Plus and tell you the differences. And now I am into the SJ5000 Plus menu settings. The first option is the resolution, 60 frames per second for 1080p is more than Wi-Fi, 120 frames per second is more than Wi-Fi version and for the 480 we have 240 frames per second 120 frames and 60 frames per second which is a plus compared to the Wi-Fi version also the 16 megapixels is more than 14 of the Wi-Fi version also the camera have the 16 by 9 as 2 megapixels picture size The quality uh, is up to super fine, which means up to 20 megabytes per second for the 1080p 60 frames per second, uh, which compared to uh, um, the Novatec version of the Wi-Fi camera is up to 15 megabytes per second, but only for 30 frames per second. The Plus version have 18 megabytes per second for the 60 frames per second option. The self timer is if you want to take one picture uh, delayed. The bar straight is also a new option only for the plus version, like the self timer. Auto shoot off is the same thing as the photo lapse for the Wi Fi version. The time lapse is the same thing, uh, thing as the video lapse of the Wi-Fi version. Uh, this is new. The dual streams is recording also a very, a very small video uh, along with your recorded video. For example, you will want to record the 1080p 60 frames per second. It will be recorded, but also a smaller video at about uh, 60, 10 frames per second will be recorded and this is needed to offer live video on your uh, smartphone using the application for the wireless the duration of the loop videos can be up to five minutes the loop record can be on or off these two options are on the same option on the Wi-Fi version this is about the motion detect that it but this have also the low medium and high options which is not available in the Wi-Fi version the digital zoom can be on or off but uh, the digital zoom is also always available in the Wi-Fi version but on the plus version we can disable it or not the status LED is only on or off now but soon with a future firmware update we'll have also the one two and three options uh, this is a plus the Wi-Fi LED which can be on or off but I expect also for the SJ5000 Wi-Fi to have this option to turn off also the green Wi-Fi LED the OSD is the same thing I already explained indeed the card DVD is the same thing this is new the delay off is when using the card DVD option is the time which uh, will be delayed the start of the recording when power is detected because some cars need this delay to start 
the recording in proper conditions. This is about the TV out the same. This is the same. This is the screen rotate and is rotating the information over the camera LCD screen and also the uh, date and time over the video. This is only on plus version. The micro microphone volume is uh, only on plus version. The 100% is very loud volume and is recommended to be used only on uh, with the waterproof case. The default volume is 18%, but I like to use the 60% or 70%. Date time is uh, the same things, but uh, with uh, two new options, the date and the time. Language can be English, Chinese, Russian, German, Italian, French, Korean, Portuguese, Spanish, Arabic. This is about the date and time. This is about the date format. This is a new option for the plus version. Uh, screen off is the same. Auto shut down is the same. This is the same. Metering is new for the plus. I also have uh, two volumes, two new values. These two values are new for the plus. Auto white balance is the same. The buzzer is the beep sound. The Wi-Fi can be disabled on or off also from the menu. The um, uh, Wi-Fi version can enable Wi-Fi only from the uh, external uh, button uh, which is on the camera. The SJ5000 Plus can be on or off also from the camera button. This is about the formatting the SD card. This is the default setting, and here is the version. When we have on the S, when you have on the SD card the firmware update by pressing the shutter button when we highlight the version, it will ask us if we want to start a firmware upgrade. On my uh, SD card, I don't have any firmware upgrade, so it's not uh, needed to. Uh, make any update. Back to Wi-Fi, I want to tell you that the Wi-Fi settings of SJ5000 Plus are stored on the micro ESD card and if we want to change uh, the SSID or the password we need to edit the file which is on the SD card but also we have three types of modes of uh, wireless mode the default is the access point, but we can uh, choose, for example, the station mode and Wi-Fi direct. This was about the SJ5000 Plus menu settings and differences compared to SJ5000 Wi-Fi.